Hey there heroes, here's a quick Elden Ring video that will help you rune farm. This is good for leveling up between level 25 to about 50. You can go farther than 50, you can go as high as you want if you have the patience, but by the time you hit level 50, the grind becomes a lot more tedious. So it depends on your patience too. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to open up your map and you are going to look for Kalem Ruins. This is where you'll be fighting the mobs. You want to equip anything that will help you with fire resistance on your character. Uh, this will help you hopefully not take as much damage when you are fighting this crazy fire machine. There's no name for it, but it's a crazy guy with a face. The crazy guy with a freaking face that spits fire. This, these are the guys you want to kill. These guys will drop almost 1700 runes per kill. Now they are very tricky and they require a little bit of patience and a little bit of time to get used to. What you need to do is basically try to get behind him. As you can see, I'm struggling here a little bit. You have to watch how his fire patterns are, but once you get behind him, you can backstab him. And if you have a strong enough character, or fast enough character, you can basically stun him and keep him stunned. And then finish him off with any more follow-up attacks to kill him quickly. This is all going to depend on how patient you are with learning techniques to get to him. If you have the patience for that, you should be able to get behind these guys. They do give very good rewards. They give you about 1700 runes, but they can kill you very easily too. So you have to have patience. You have to be able to watch their pattern. They have three different patterns. One pattern is they shoot fire out of the sides of their ears and one out the front of their mouth and that's when they charge forward at you. That's the best way that you're gonna be able to get behind this enemy to go for the backstab. You will also shoot three streams of fire straight ahead, and that's the one where you want to basically try to get away from him as far as possible. Because if you stay in near his fire shooting, he will basically just kill you instantly. And then the third move he does is a spin and win, which I call it the spin and win because he basically takes fire and spins around in a crazy circle and kills you off. And that's another one that you'll want to try to do your best to get away from. Now another technique you can try to use, besides using fire resistance type items, you might be able to use your spirits, your spirit wolves I'm using here as you can see. But if you have any other spirits that you can call upon to help with maybe just with distractions, it might make things easier for you. The key to this is you want to be nimble, you want to be fast. If you're not fast, then he will just basically run over you and kill you every time. You need to be nimble and be able to dodge roll out of his way to get these runes. The best thing is if you do die a couple times to them or a few hundred times to them, which I have, as long as you get your runes back and not let him kill you twice in a row, then this farming isn't too bad. But you have to get your runes back or you will throw your controller across the room once you've lost 10,000 runes. Also, one thing that may happen is when you're fighting these guys, they tend to go on some crazy terrain, which makes it really hard uh, to actually backstab them and kill them. The best advice I can give you for that is be patient, let them make their move. You can try your best to go up there and attack, if, and if you're lucky you won't die, but it's a it's 50-50 risk. If you go up and attack them on terrain that is offset. So I recommend 
that you try your best to just be patient, watch their patterns, and do your best to get behind them. Also, while you're farming these crazy monstrosities, you may also come across smithing stones. Uh, level 3 smithing stones to be exact. Hopefully this helps you out with a little bit with uh, power leveling. And yeah, thanks for watching.